Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 QPR1 Beta 3.1. To avoid any confusion, QPR1 is the beta cycle for December feature drop, while QPR2 is the beta cycle for March feature drop. In today's video, I'm talking about December feature drop and Google just released one minor update for the December update cycle. So let me show you what's new. Keep in mind that this build is mainly focused on bug fixes, but they are worth creating a video for because they are very important. And I did encounter most of them on my Pixel 9 Pro XL while running the previous beta versions. And the first one in the release notes is a fix for an issue where tapping media controls closed the notification shade, but didn't open the app. And I can confirm that this issue is now fixed. The second one is a fix for an issue related to the extend unlock feature that you can locate under settings and then security and the privacy, then more security and the privacy, and then extend unlock. If you are using any of these features to keep your phone unlocked in certain scenarios, in the previous versions, the unlock button used to do nothing, but now it works absolutely fine. The third one is a fix for an issue that prevented proper volume control for some Bluetooth devices. I didn't encounter this one myself, but if you did, you should definitely upgrade to 3.1. And here we have another fix for an issue that caused Material U wallpaper drive color options to be very similar or duplicated. And this is one of the issues that got fixed first in QPR2, and now the same fix made its way to QPR1. Next, we have a fix for an issue that caused the scroll bar in the system settings to be sized and styled inconsistently. So if you came across this issue with the scroll bar, this should be fixed with beta 3.1. But one of the most important fixes in this list is a fix for the NFC payments. I came across this issue myself and I started to notice that every time I make a payment with my phone, it fails for at least one or two times and then successfully makes the payment. So I will give it a shot after beta 3.1 and keep you updated in my future videos. Next, we have a fix for an issue where translations in Indonesian and the Hebrew didn't display correctly for apps that are targeting Android 14 or lower. And finally, they fixed various other issues that were impacting multiple areas, but the most interesting one is the camera. And I think that Google started to work on the camera issues I reported on the Pixel 9 Pro XL after installing Android 15 and Gcam version 9.6. And let me show you some side-by-side -side comparison. But before starting, let me remind you about my wallpapers by in-depth thick reviews app. If you like any of the wallpapers I use in my videos, this is where you can find them and the Google Play Store download link is in the description. And now let's move on to the camera comparison. I only took a couple of photos on QPR1 Beta 3.1 on the Pixel 9 Pro XL similar to the ones I took on the stable version. And you will notice here that the moonshot on Beta 3.1 looks much better when it comes to the exposure and details. Also keep in mind that the weather conditions today is much worse, so it's not fair to compare the two photos, but this is the closest match I can get. It says here, muggy night with poor visibility, and that's definitely impacting the image quality, even though I still prefer the one coming out of the 9 Pro XL with beta 3.1 over the one I took in better weather conditions on the stable version. Here's another shot that I took on the stable version, but I didn't show you in my previous video. It was just for testing purposes but thankfully I kept it and today I tried to replicate the same scenario and you'll notice here there is a massive difference between the two when it comes to the sharpening. You can definitely see that QPR1 Beta 3.1 has less over sharpening, making the image look more natural and more pleasing to look at. And when you take a look at the signs in the background, you will see they are better exposed on Beta 3.1 when compared to the stable version. Yes, I see more noise in the Beta 3.1 image when compared to the stable version, but as I mentioned, the weather today is much worse and the visibility is very low which definitely impacting the overall quality. But I believe if the weather conditions were the same, Beta 3.1 definitely wins. Another fix I noticed that Google didn't mention in the release notes is related to the fingerprint scanner of the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Uh, while using QPR1 Beta 3, the fingerprint scanner performance kept getting worse over time and it felt like I'm using the Pixel 6, not the Pixel 9. But now I think it's back again to the same 
fast performance. As you see here, I barely touch the screen and it unlocks perfectly well every single time. Last but not least, I want to report a couple of issues with this build. The first one is related to the long app names. So even though I have the feature activated, but I don't see the long app names feature working. It only works in QPR2 and Android 16, but it doesn't work in QPR1. I reported this problem before, but it's still not fixed. The second issue is new to me and it's related to the media output switcher. When I tap on it, I don't see any of my smart speakers to start casting from here, even though I can see all my devices on the Pixel 8 Pro and both devices are connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network. But for some reason, I'm not able to do the same on beta 3.1. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the fixes that comes with QPR1 beta 3.1. Please let me know in the comments what's your experience if you installed this build. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.